Hi, hello friends. Welcome back to my channel, Learn with Sumit. And today I'm going to explain you all about interpreting remainders. Well, what is mean of it? So the main idea of interpreting um, remainders is main idea is to find out what the remainder represents and how many people need to get if distributing. Main, I, main thing is ignore it or round up to the quotient. Well, ignore it means a lady has $4 in the ball class, $10. So she could ignore it because she doesn't have any money. Well, since it's round up to the quotient, then we use, so a um, trip is using two buses to uh, take the people. There are 80 people and um, they need, uh, the each bus contains 40 people. And I mean, there are 80 people and each bun bus contains 30 people. Then so two buses contain 60 people and my leftover is 20. What I do with the 20 people? Just leave it, ignore it. No, I couldn't say to people to ignore it since they paid money and they were so excited. So I would bring another bus. So there would be three buses for the field trip. Now, let me show you an example. First, Example, question, Mr. Jones, Mr. Jones has 80 pencils to pass out to his students. There are 24 students in the class. How many pencils will each student get if everyone is given an even share? Okay, so since they told the keyword called even share. We could understand slowly what the question is by the word even share. So let's do it. First, all the pencil, all the people, I mean, kids, all the students get one one pencil because 80 pencils are there and 24 students, so that's less. So all the students will get one pencil, definitely. So what if we do 80 minus 24? That gives is 56. Now, what we're supposed to do is Now we're supposed to do 56 minus 24. We can still distribute one more pencil because 56 is bigger than 24. Then 56 pencils are more than 24 students. So I could do 56 minus 24. That gives me 32. Since I have 32 pencils and 24 students, I could do one more. So if I do 32, my, uh, 32 minus 24, then that gives me digit eight. So now we can distribute the pencils of eight anymore because it is more, right? So now our quotient is three and our remainder pencils are eight. What I told is three are already, I mean, three pencils are each student now having. Remainder is eight. Why I can't like round eight, I mean the remainder up to quotient. No, because they told even share. That's why I uh, underlined the keywords, even share. So that's why I ignore that. Now let's see, 
portion goes three and the remainder is eight. Now, how many pencils will each student receive? Three, the quotient, three pencils. What does the remainder represent? Now is the time where we need to understand, is it ignored it or round it up? Remainder represent eight pencils left over. Well, I could not share those pencils because there are just eight pencils and they want to do a even share. So I could ignore the remainder. And yeah, that's my topic of interpreting remainders. The main important thing is to write what does the remainder represent. So I'll tell you a cool thing. If you do this, we find out this. If you do all of this, we find out this. Hope you understand this. Hope you like it. Don't forget to subscribe my channel if you're new. Thanks for watching. Share my videos. Bye.